Hi Island Luxury Lovers! Before we start this video, here are a few seconds to boost everyone's childhood memories. One of our favorite animated movies and everyone's favorite character, Alex, the Lion King, who along with his few animal friends will find themselves crated up and shipped off to a remote wildlife preserve, only to end up on the sandy shores of exotic Madagascar Island. But did you guys know that Madagascar Island also exists in real life? And it has much more surprise. Did you know one of the movie's favorite characters, King Julian, the ring-tailed lemur, is one of the rarest animals in this world and is actually found on Madagascar Island? If you want to see them in real life and explore the magnificent island of Madagascar or just enjoy the luxury and beauty, this video is great for you. Madagascar is the world's fourth largest island and one of the most beautiful destinations in the world where you can explore some unique and unforgettable moments. The island's paradise is known for its rare wildlife, alien landscapes, and virgin coastline. Located in the Indian Ocean, the fourth largest island is a perfect destination for honeymooners, nature lovers, and thrill seekers. Famous for the wide-eyed lemurs, eccentric baobab trees, and vanilla farming, this island has everything for you. Almost 90% of the plants and animals living on Madagascar aren't found anywhere else in the world. That's because strong ocean currents have isolated the island from the African continent, so the species living there haven't traveled beyond the island's borders. Lush rainforests stretch along its coastlines. Madagascar's most famous animal species, lemurs, live only in Madagascar and can be found in almost every habitat on the island. Silky sifakas, a type of lemur and one of the rarest mammals on Earth, can be found in the rainforest, along with giant leaf-tailed geckos and nocturnal aes. Spider tortoises and Dumeril's boas live in the deserts, and Madagascan plovers can be spotted flying over the island's central plains. Humpback whales and pygmy blue whales have been spotted along the island's coasts. The species thought to be the most representative of the island, other than lemurs, is the baobab tree, the national tree of Madagascar. The thick, straight trunk of the tree swells into the shape of a bottle as it collects rainwater. As an island nation, Madagascar is very well known for its amazing world-class beaches. You may get to see amazing views of smaller islands on their own. For those who are seasoned travelers, this is an absolute unmissable destination. If you're frustrated by your day-to-day -day schedules and want to escape to a chill environment, beaches in Madagascar are the best option. Madagascar has white sandy beaches that make it incredibly attractive. Some of the top beaches in Madagascar Island are Manafiafi, Sarabangina and Nozibi. These are some famous beaches of Madagascar that one should definitely visit. Manafiafi is the dream destination for you. If you really want to escape from the day-to-day -day hectic schedule, this is the perfect place to visit. If you're not looking for a beach that's crowded, then this beach is best for you. The beach is quite secretive and smaller, but it has so much to experience. Sarabangina is one of the smallest tourist islands that is surrounded by Madagascar. And that is the reason why Sarabangina is one of the most beautiful beaches with amazing landscapes on the Indian Ocean. You may find crystal clear water that is only accessible by boat. Nosy Bee is one of the most beautiful and popular tourist destinations in the country. Nosy Bee is one of the largest islands that is surrounded by the coast of Madagascar. The island has a variety of spices, due to which it's also referred to as Nosy Mantra which means scented island. This island is one of the favorite islands for tourists from all over the world. This is a very beautiful and picturesque beach location. This destination recently grabbed the attention of the world as one of the few places to spot some of the most rare animal species on the planet. September to October is the best time to travel to Madagascar as the weather is a little warmer and the lemurs are more active. Everyone loves a bit of luxury and living in modern villas while doing so. It adds to the splendor of the trip and to your memories. From remote camping in undiscovered parks to luxury hideaways and jungle lodges, Madagascar now has a great selection of truly diverse places to stay. You can come here on a budget but also spend a lot of money if you like. There are many Madagascar resorts, hotels, and villas which chalk out exclusive offerings including accommodation, food, and different activities. However, the luxury resorts, hotels, and villas here offer a once-in-a-lifetime experience. You can enjoy the island with your family or take your partner there as a surprise. Some of the best resorts, hotels, and villas are 
Hotel Icona Lodge La Ravoraja. You can stay here for only $69 a night. You wake up and have a perfect view at the beach. Home, the residence. Here you can own your own villa and pool for only $149 a night. And if that's not enough, you walk out of your villa and see the beach. Personally, I love this one. You like to go camping and on a budget? Hotel Ocean Beach Sakashia is the perfect place for you. Only $32 a night and right next to the beach. If you'd like to make your trip a little more romantic, they have a restaurant on the beach. How lovely is that? Of course, there are many, many more places to stay on Madagascar Island. In this part, we'll highlight some of the best things to do on Madagascar Island. Whether you're an experienced diver or beginner, hoping to take the plunge for the first time, there are plenty of incredible scuba diving opportunities in Madagascar. Prices vary between $100 and $450. With approximately 4,800 kilometers or 3,000 miles of coastline, you're never far from the ocean. In the southwestern part of Madagascar, you'll find the world's third largest coral reef system, the Talaya Reef. It provides a habitat for more than 6,000 marine species, many of which are unique to Madagascar. The island of Nosy Bee is perhaps the most famous destination for divers, while charter boats in the north can be hired as dedicated diving liveaboards. Conditions are ideal, with good visibility year-round and balmy water temperatures. Bucket list animals include whales, dolphins, sharks, and manta rays. If you're into Madagascar Island, make sure to sample the local cuisine. Traditional Malagasy dishes usually consist of either meat or seafood served with vegetables and rice. Spices are used sparingly, but the food is nevertheless flavorful. Try koba, a popular street food consisting of banana, peanut, and rice paste wrapped in a banana leaf casing. Roma zava is the traditional beef stew, while kabaro, which is curry lima beans and coconut, is popular in the Morindava region. On the coast, fresh seafood dominates the menu. Wash your meal down with the local Three Horses beer or with Renana Pago, sometimes called Renovala. The latter is made from burnt rice water and may be an acquired taste. <laughs> Don't forget to visit the Tsingi de Bamara National Park. Madagascar is full of extraordinary scenery, but perhaps the most striking of all its alien landscapes are the limestone karst of the northwestern Tsingi de Bamara National Park. Approximately 200 million years ago, the limestone seab was pushed upwards, becoming a dense forest of jagged limestone needles interspersed with canyons, waterfalls, and an almost impenetrable forest. In addition to its prehistoric badlands scenery, Singi offers the opportunity to look for 11 different lemur species, some of which are only found in this specific area. There are also endemic reptiles, birds, and a plethora of utterly unique botanical species. Isolo National Park is another favorite destination for tourists. Isalo National Park, which protects more than 190,000 acres of land, is a nature lover's paradise. Here, you'll find thick forests of panadanus trees, natural swimming holes, and dramatic geologic formations, such as plateaus, gorges, canyons, and pinnacles. For wildlife, you're in for a treat. Within the park, you can spot some 14 species of lemurs, over 80,000 different types of birds and reptiles and amphibians like the Malagzi rainbow frog and the Madagascar boa. Visitors to the park mainly come here to hike, with the Piscine Naturelle Trail being one of the more popular trails. Be aware that you will need to hire a local guide to explore the park, either through an organized Madagascar tour or at the park office in Ranohira. If all of this doesn't make you fall in love with the island, explore Antananarivo, which is founded by the King of the Marina people at the beginning of the 17th century. The Malagzi capital is steeped in history. For beautiful architecture, head to the old Hauteville area of the city. Get your cultural fix in the city's art galleries and museums, or soak up the atmosphere while browsing the open-air produce stalls at Anna Lakely Market. Antananarivo is known for its culinary culture. Whether you're hoping to sample street food delicacies or experience the fine French dining in restaurants that compete on an international level. I already talked and showed you so much, and I'm not even done talking about this amazing island. I promise I will show you more about this island later. Isn't it a beautiful and interesting destination? Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button, put the notifications on so you'll be the first seeing new videos, and of course, the follow-up on Madagascar. Please let me know in the comments what you liked most so far about Madagascar Island and which island you'd like to see next. 
Follow us on Instagram at Island Luxury YT for daily luxury islands posts or a few seconds of distraction at your work or whenever you need a little break. That was it for today, Island Luxury lovers. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.